Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Welcome, everybody. How are you? Good morning, good morning. Can you hear me? Yes? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, and you? In um, day, uh, 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 ¿Cómo estuvo? No, no pude decir cómo estuvo ayer su día. Oh, thank you. It was pretty nice, actually. I could rest a little bit. And the weather was nice because yesterday nice. it was raining. Yes. So, yes. yeah, it was pretty fresh. <laughs> sí. Sí. Yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was... Good morning. It was raining all night. So, that's great because the weather is cool. How about you guys? Yeah. What is the weather like in your city today? Uh-huh. It's cloudy. It's... Cloudy and nublado. Yes. Cloudy. Okay. Yes. It's cloudy. Yes. Okay. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. Very cloudy. Very is, it, cloudy. is it raining in your city today, guys? No. 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 In my case, in, in La Libertad, is sunny. Oh really? Oh. Yes. I get but you. yesterday <laughs> was raining. Ah, okay. And you guys? Is it rainy? Is cloudy or sunny? Cloudy. It's sunny. Sunny. In my, in my case, oh. it's sunny. It's raining day. In my case. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> if it is rainy or cloudy, I hope that um, it doesn't affect the connection. All right, so this is our second day, guys. Welcome to the class, and thank you so much for being on time. Uh, just a reminder, names, okay? Names on your profiles. Remember, I need full names. First, mm -hmm. your last names, and then your names, okay? So check your okay. profiles, please, and modify them. So... This is our second day. Uh, do you have the access to the platform or not yet? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. Not yet. Okay. So, um, yeah, we have to be a little patient with that. All right. And no worries. I mean, si no tienen el acceso todavía, no les voy a pedir que ya tengan el 25% resuelto de la plataforma, right? No, because, I mean, in this case, it's, it's not your fault. Así que, no worries. We are going to give you more time to work on it. Um, cuando ya lo tengan, entonces sí, ya podemos empezar a trabajar. Okay? But, okay. meanwhile, not yet. Así que, don't worry, guys. No worries. All right. Do you remember what we were talking about in the previous class? It's, um, eat, eat fruit. Ah, we were talking about food, fruit, vegetables, right? Um, Do you remember the vocabulary? Yes. Yes, are you yeah. sure? So, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. We are going to review it today. So, um, let me see. Remember, guys, camera on. I can see some people with the camera off. So guys, uh, 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 turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Um, I can see some people with only one name and last name. Mr. Ramos, please change your name. I need full names on your profiles on Zoom. Uh, who else, who else? I think the other ones is everything in order. Okay, now be careful. If you see right now, I can see only 20 people. Okay, so I hope your class may join us soon. Um, maybe they have issues with the connection or I don't know. But guys, don't forget the importance of the attendance. Okay, so I hope your class may join us soon. But remember, ahorita ya son las ocho y cinco. Bueno, ocho y seis. Los compañeros que no se han conectado, ¿qué significa? Ya perdieron cinco minutos de clase. 
right? Entonces, si queremos el 100% de la asistencia, hay que conectarnos los 90 minutos, ¿ok? Así que los classmates que no se han conectado, ya perdieron cinco minutos, ya el score les va a ir bajando. Así que seamos bien cuidadosos con la asistencia, no se nos olvide. All right? Insafor está siendo bien estricto y de hecho está sacando gente de los grupos desde ya. Tengo un grupo a las 10 y de ese grupo ya sacaron como a tres personas porque se conectaron tarde, porque no llevan el porcentaje requerido y porque algunos no se conectaron. Entonces, como les digo, es, están siendo bien estrictos en ese aspecto y no quisiera, guys, que alguno de ustedes se quedara afuera. All right? Así que be careful. Eh, repito, para los que tienen la cámara apagada, hay que encenderla, please. Remember, it's not optional. Ok, let's start. Let me share the presentation. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> so we were talking about food. Just a reminder, guys. Uh, re the rules, full names, always. Camera on during the full class. Don't forget the attendance. Connect the 90 minutes. And right now, let's try to avoid Spanish. Okay. Uh, I was explaining the evaluation system, the first class. So remember that we are going to have one homework per week. Today, I will give you your first homework, okay? Remember that these homeworks are evaluated. So be careful with that. Uh, we are going to have two evaluations of speaking, but later the exams that we have on the platform and participation. I want people who participate. Okay, please. Okay, let's see if you remember the vocabulary about food. We were talking about Good morning, teacher. Fruits. Good morning. Welcome to the class. Thank we you. were talking about fruits and vegetables. Okay, so let's see if you remember. Let's see. Do you remember the name of this fruit? Blueberry. Blackberry. 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 Ah, black. Okay, blackberry. Okay, and this one? Blueberry. Blueberry. Ah, this is the blueberry. Very good. Do you remember this one? Melon. 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 Easy, Melon. right? Melon. Cherries. 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 Ah, very good. Raspberry. Raspberry. Cranberry. 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 Okay. Cranberry. All right. Cranberry. Papaya. 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 <laughs> In this case, Papaya. if you say this one doesn't change, you just need to try to imitate the accents like papaya, papaya. So this one. Peach. 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 Pear. 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 Okay. Raspberry. Strawberry. Strawberry. Mm. Raspberry. Red, red berry. Raspberry. Okay. Rasp. Raspberry. Raspberry. Okay. Tangerine. Ah, very good. Tangerine. 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 Very good. Okay. I see you remember the fruits. Let's see if you remember the vegetables. Okay, let's see. Beet. Beet. Okay. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. Okay. Bell. Bell pepper. Bell, pepper. Bell, pepper. Bell pepper, right? Bell pepper. As we were talking, you can also, some people say the color or only pepper, okay? If you want to be specific, we say bell pepper. Okay. Cabbage. 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 Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. Ah. Chili pepper. Chili pepper. So, 
Remember, pepper. chili pepper is spicy, it's right? Hot. Bell pepper is sweet. That is the difference. Okay. Cucumber. 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 Remember, cucumber. we don't say cucumber. We say cu cucumber. 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 And this one? Eggplant. 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 Very good. Garlic. 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 Very good. Peas. Peas. Correct. Very good. Pumpkin. 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 Spinach. 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 Correct. <laughs> okay. Very good with the vocabulary. Easy or difficult? Easy. 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 Now, let's see some vocabulary. Now, we are going to identify healthy or unhealthy food and we are going to check vocabulary about breakfast and lunch okay so okay let's just start with the breakfast did you have breakfast guys yes, yes. yes. excellent no. <laughs> no oh my gosh okay what is this bacon Bacon. 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 Okay, bacon is healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Unhealthy, right? Yeah. But do you like it? Yes. Delicious. <laughs> okay. No. No. I don't like it either. <laughs> but anyway, I don't like. What is it? Cereal. 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 And Cereal. is healthy or unhealthy? Healthy. 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 You think? For me, it's unhealthy. Well, actually, according to the doctors, it's not healthy, right? It's unhealthy. Yes. Because it has a lot of sugar. It's not nutritious. So, mm -hmm. Okay. What is it? Only integral. Coffee. 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 Delicious. Coffee. Delicious. <laughs> healthy is healthy, definitely. Healthy. <laughs> Very healthy. Co coffee is, is life, right? <laughs> Do yes. you like coffee? Yes. 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 I, like it. Yes. I love. Do you don't, don't like it? it? I, I heard some people that what? don't like. I like with, with milk. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> with sugar or without sugar? No sugar. No sugar. Without sugar. Okay. Without sugar. Yeah, without sugar. Okay. How about this one? Excellent. Eggs. Now, pay attention here. In Spanish, we have different right. type of eggs, right? In this case, in Spanish, we say. Huevos. 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 Huevos, ¿qué? Estrellados. Estrellados. Estrellados, right? We have different type of eggs. Tenemos los picados, los estrellados, el huevo duro, el huevo en omelette. So we have different types. In English, we have it too. So let's see. How can I say huevos estrellados? Any idea? So imagine that you go to a restaurant and they say, um, how would you like your eggs? Ah, si los queremos estrellados, diríamos, ah, fried eggs, please. Okay? Fried eggs. Mm -hmm. Healthy fried or egg. unhealthy? Healthy. 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 What is this? Milk. 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 Healthy? Yes. Healthy. No. Healthy. Not unhealthy. Well, this is the pants, no right? <laughs> if you are no uh, untolerate, so you don't like it. Now, another type of eggs. What is this? Scramble eggs. Very good. Scrambled eggs. 
scrambled. Do you prefer fried or scrambled eggs? A scrambled eggs. Scrambled. Scrambled. With tomato and, and pepper. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. And bell pepper. And bell pepper. <laughs> okay. And bacon. Uh, yes. and no. bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is this? Orange. 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 Healthy Orange. or unhealthy? Healthy. healthy. Do you I'm like healthy. orange juice? Yes. 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 What is it? Bread. Bread, bread. bread or? Bread. Toast. 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 Oh. Okay, toast. 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 Healthy toast. or not? No, no. Fifty fifty, no right? <laughs> okay. So do you like toast? Yes. Yes. Okay. Integral. <laughs> what is this? Healthy or not? Health. Yes. Health. Healthy, right? Health. Pretty good. It delicious. It's delicious, definitely. Um, it has a lot of functions. We have different type of tea. If you are sick, if you cannot sleep, if you want to relax. So we have different type of tea. Do you like to add milk? No. no. no there no. are some people no. that added milk. I don't know why, but yeah. I don't like it. No, I don't, <laughs> no, no, I don't like it. In, I don't know, but I had a friend, el té de menta. Have you ever heard about it? Mean tea? Yes. A ese le agregan leche. They add milk. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> disgusting. Okay. I don't like Say, it. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, what is this? Pancake. 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 Do you like it? Pancake. Pancake. Yes. 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 Healthy yes. or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. <laughs> Unhealthy, Depends. you think? Depends. 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 Well, if you Depends. eat it every single day, I mean, of course, it's not healthy, right? But from time to time, we can, it, it can work. Okay. What is this? Donuts. Donuts. Do you like it? Yes. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Chocolate. Unhealthy. Unhealthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. unhealthy. Definitely unhealthy. Unhealthy. Yes. unhealthy. Very yes. Unhealthy. yes, but delicious. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yes. like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Muffin? Cupcakes. Okay. 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 In this case, they are muffins. Muffin. Muffin. Okay. Muffins. Yeah. And healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. 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 Yeah. Muffins. But delicious, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <coughs> okay. <coughs> we got eggs, but what kind of eggs? <laughs> How do we say that in English? We say it's, uh, boiled. boiled eggs. Now, eggs. listen. Hard there are two options. Hard. You can say hard boiled eggs or only boiled eggs. If you boiled. say boiled eggs, we understand. Okay? So, again, how do we say huevos estrellados? Fried eggs. Fried eggs. Fried eggs. How do we say eh, huevos revueltos? Crumbled, Crumbled, Crumbled eggs. eggs. Huevos duros? Boiled eggs. Good. Excellent. Do you like boiled eggs? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. But this one is the best one. I mean, this is like the healthiest option. Yes. Right? Yes. So, yes. What is this? It's not donuts. Bagel. 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 Yes. Do you like bagel? bagel. Yes. Delicious, right? Healthy or unhealthy? Um, unhealthy. unhealthy okay but comparing with the donuts mm -hmm. be careful yeah. with the healthy. microphones 
<laughs> Comparing with the donuts, this one is a little bit more, right? A little healthier. Okay. What is this? Waffles. 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 Okay, we don't say waffles. I mean, in Spanish we say waffles, but in English we say waffles. Okay, waffles. waffles. Do you waffles. like waffles? Yes. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. Do you prefer waffles or pancakes? Pancakes. Both of them. Or both of them. Both of them. Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. <laughs> Unhealthy, right? How about this? Breakfast. Yes. Breakfast sausage. Mm, in this case, if you say only sausage, I mean, we totally understand. It's not necessary to say breakfast. Um, Guys, be careful with the microphones, please. Okay. Sausage. Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. Definitely, right? But do you like it? No. No? <laughs> no like. Yes? Okay. <laughs> this one. Cinnamon rolls. Yes. <laughs> Cinnamon rolls. <laughs> do you like it, guys? Yes. yes. No. Yes, no, yes. really? Yes, no. Healthy or unhealthy? <laughs> unhealthy. <laughs> unhealthy, right? But yes. totally delicious. Okay, and this one? French toast? French, yes. French toast. French toast. French toast. toast. Do, you, do you like it? No. Yes. <laughs> You don't no. like it? Healthy or no, unhealthy? No, don't like. Unhealthy. Unhealthy. <laughs> All right. And this? Croissant. Croissant. Okay. Croissant. Yeah, okay. that is the one. Do you like it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, right? No. Pretty good. Okay, that was the vocabulary, guys. This is about breakfast. Okay. Easy or difficult? <laughs> okay. Tomorrow I will continue asking. Okay. Uh huh. Do you have a <laughs> yes, we need to memorize it, of course. All right. Now that is about breakfast. Let's move to lunch. Hamburger. 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 Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. unhealthy. Totally, right? Totally. <laughs> but delicious, right? Do you like it? Yeah. No. <laughs> like it. no. No, no, no. No, you don't like it? Oh my gosh. No. What is this? French fries. Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Totally, totally. Hot dog. Do you like it? Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. 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 Totally unhealthy. unhealthy, but delicious, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, what is this? Right. Rice. 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 Healthy Rice. or not? Nice. Yes. Uh, healthy. <laughs> if you are on a diet, it's not healthy, right? No, but not healthy. At the contrary, no problem. What is this? Chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Right. Mm. It's chicken, no, it's but what sounds... kind of chicken? Grilled. Grilled. Yes. Grilled. 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 Chicken. Do you like grilled, grilled chicken? Grilled chicken. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. What is that? Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni, Macaroni. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. And cheese. And cheese. Is this healthy? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Not really, right? This is unhealthy, but do you like it? 
What is what is easy to prepare? Ah, that's a good point. It's very easy to prepare, definitely. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's this? Potato chips. Okay. Potato, Potato chips. Potato chips. Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. <laughs> but do you like it? Yes. yes. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Delicious. Definitely. Mm, what is it? Mm. <laughs> barbecue. Uh -huh. Barbecue. Barbecue. Ribs. Ribs. Don't Barbe forget the word. Ribs. The word barbecue. Barbecue. Ribs. 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 Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> I feel like we are we are hungry right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> the barbecue ribs. Is that healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. 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 <laughs> A little, but delicious. And this one? Soup. Chicken. Soup. Vegetable soup. In this case, remember that we can specify what kind of soup. We can say chicken soup, vegetable soups, bean soup. Okay. So, is that healthy or unhealthy? Depends. We can say healthy. I mean, we can see some vegetables over here, but do you like soup? Yes. Yes. I like. Yes, I like. Okay. And sandwich. 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 All right. Now pay attention here because um, remember that we in Spanish ah, a este tipo de sandwich normalmente le llamamos subway. subway, right? Pero le decimos subway porque así se llama el establecimiento que los vende, right? So, por eso le decimos, I quiero un subway, right? But in English, no podemos decirle subway. Porque en inglés, ¿qué significa subway? Es la marca. Es un tren, pero de los que van, like, un tren. underground, ah. right? So, imagine if you say, ay, quiero comer un subway in English. Mm, no tendría sentido, right? I mean, ay, me quiero comer un tren. I mean, doesn't make sense. Por eso, in English, si queremos decir, I mean, este tipo de sandwich, we are going to say sub, sub sandwich. sandwich, okay? Sub sandwich. Do you sub like sandwich. sub sandwich? Yes, yes I yes. like. It's delicious. But is it healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. But because uh, I integrally uh, uh, Depends on power? the bread. Uh huh. Yes, Turkey. Yes. Turkey. Yeah. Well, uh, we can say that comparing, integral. comparing to the um, burgers, <laughs> I mean, this is a little bit no. healthier, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pretty good. The last vocabulary. What is this? No. Onions. 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 Onion. Okay, this one is exactly the translator, right? Aros de cebolla, oh. onion, rings. rings. Do you like it? No, yes. yes. Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. 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 All right, definitely. And this? Wings. Wings. <laughs> Wings. In this case, uh, remember that wings. we can specify, right, if they are spicy, if they are barbecues, or just wings. Do you like it? Yes, yes. yes I like it. Healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. Unhealthy. <laughs> unhealthy, totally. So please, guys, if you find a new word, write it down. This one? Taco. Taco. Tacos. 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 Do you like tacos? Yes. yes. <laughs> healthy or unhealthy? Unhealthy. <laughs> but delicious. Yes. And this one? 
Nachos. 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 So, Nachos. when we are talking about <laughs> typical food, normally if we are from Latin American countries, they don't have a specific translation. So tacos is tacos. Nachos is nachos. nachos. Okay. So si yo digo una enchilada, do I have translation for an enchilada? Enchilada. enchilada. No, enchilada. right? Enchilada. enchilada is enchiladas. Tamal is tamal. 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 So we don't have a specific translation. What is this? Corn. 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 Right? Now, corn on the cob. in this case, they say corn on the cob es como decir eh, la mazorca de maíz. Right? Pero si decimos solo corn, is totally understandable. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, by the way, healthy Potato. or unhealthy? Corn. Okay. Healthy. Do you like it? Unhealthy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. This one? Potato. Potato, but yeah. what kind of potato? Potato. I heard With someone, someone said that. Mm, but it's fried? No. no. It's? Al horno. Exactly. Baked so potato. we say baked potato. Baked Do you like potato. it? Baked. Yes. Healthy yes. or unhealthy? Healthy. Healthy. <laughs> well, unhealthy. it's better than fried, <laughs> right? Uh <-huh>. So <laughs> we can say that it's a little bit healthier. Beans. Beans. In this case, it says baked beans. Baked baked beans. beans. But see, this is all beans. It's all right. Healthy or unhealthy? Healthy. 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 Do you like it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, I like chili. Chili. <laughs> oh, chili. Delicious. <laughs> yes. Okay. What is this? Mashed potato. Right. Ah, very good. Mashed potatoes. Mashed, Mashed potato. potato. Healthy or potato. unhealthy? Healthy. Uh, it depends, yeah. right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you like uh, mashed potatoes? Yes. 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 Right. Yes. Now I'm... we already check different type of potato. We say the fried, baked, mashed. Which one is your favorite? Mashed. 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 Okay. Or fried. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, what is this? Bread. Bread, bread, bread or bread, bread roll. 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 We say roll just to specify this type of bread, right? Do you like it? Uh, yes. No. Yes? No? And this one. <laughs> roll. Um, no. Ah, how do how do we say that? Jelly, jelly. And, ah. <laughs> jelly and jam. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay, butter listen. And jelly. Peanut ah. butter peanut is this butter. one. Oh. Peanut yes. butter. Translation? Crema de maní. Crema de maní. Crema de maní. Crema de maní. Or maní. mantequilla de maní. And the money. other one is jelly. Jelly, jelly is jelly. como la jalea, right? Jalea. So, do you like this type of sandwich? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes I love it. But yes. is that healthy or unhealthy? <laughs> Unhealthy. 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 Un
No questions. No? No. no. Excellent. Okay. Let's continue talking. Uh, the last week, just remember, guys, keep the microphones off, okay, because of the background. If you want to participate, turn it on, participate, but then turn it off again, okay? Okay. Pretty good. Okay. In the last week, well, basically Wednesday, we were talking about the simple present. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes? yes. Excellent. Yes. Remember that in the simple present, we have the characteristic that if it is in third person, what do we need to do? Correct. We need to pay attention. If it is third person, we know that we need to add the letter S. And what happens if it is in negative? What do I need to do in negative? The the auxiliary. The auxiliary. Ah, the very good. Auxiliary. Normally, we use don't, except in third person. In third person, I need to use doesn't. 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 Okay, pretty good. Is that clear? Yes? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, now what happens if I want to create a just no question? What do I need to do? The auxiliary. The auxiliary. We need the... to switch, right? What do I need first? Do. do. The auxiliary do yeah. or? Does. <laughs> okay, what do I need next? The subject. The subject. 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 And complement. Now, if I Term. have the auxiliary in verb. third person, do I need to add the letter S to the verb? Maybe. No. Why not? No, but For the auxiliary. Ah, the auxiliary. Because I already have the auxiliary. For example, imagine if I ask you, everybody, do you cook? If the answer is yes, what would you say? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I, do. I, do. yes I do. Yes, I do. I do. Can I say just yes? No. 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 I need to give a complete answer. Yes, I do. I do. I do. If the answer is no? No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, I don't. Oh. How about in third person? Everybody tell me. Um, does your best friend cook? Yes, yes she does. does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. If the answer is no? No, she, no, she doesn't. doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Excellent. So that is the structure that you need to remember, guys, when we are talking in simple present. Basically, you just need to be very careful when we are talking in third person. You have to identify if the sentence is in negative. Don't forget to use the auxiliary. All right. Now, yes. we are going to have a practice. I'm going to show you some pictures and you have to create a sentence in simple present in affirmative in negative and in question okay how are we going to do it for example look at this picture in affirmative what will be the sentence what is the subject he he he, he and he. what is the verb Eat. 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 Mm. Okay, can I say he eat? No. No. He, he eats. No, no. Ah. He eats. He eats. He Exaggerate the letter he he is. Eats. Look. He eats. He eats. Oh. Okay. Now, podemos decir the man o podemos decir simplemente he. There is no problem at all. Okay, he eats a hamburger. hamburger. How can I say the same sentence but in negative? The man doesn't eat a hamburger. Eat a hamburger. And do I need the letter S? No. 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 Excellent. Look, the man 
Das sand, sand is in, in the hamburger. hamburger. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay, now, if I want to have a yes no question, what will be the yes no question here? Does the man eat a hamburger? Does the man eat a the hamburger? Eat a hamburger. If the answer is yes. Yes. Yes, he does. He does. If the answer is no. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, he That's doesn't. It. No, he doesn't. Pretty good. Okay, I will be asking individually. So only the person I ask, only that person can answer. Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let me pick Edwin, uh, Edwin Ramos. Okay, Edwin? Sí, claro. Okay, give me one verb. Which one do you prefer? Dry. Drive, okay. Okay, let's create a sentence in affirmative. She drives in the car. Hmm, okay. Drives, pretty good. Drives. She drives a car or she drives in the car. Nice. Okay, tell me the sentence in negative. The woman doesn't drive a car. Pretty good, excellent. Now, what will be the yes no question? Does the woman drive a car? Drive, sin ese. Ah, Does perfect. The woman drive a car? Excellent. Okay, uh, if the answer is yes? Yes, she does. Correct, if the answer is no? No, she doesn't. Perfect. Excellent job. Okay, um, Edwin, can you pick one of your classmates, please? What? Elija alguien. Pick someone. Ah, one okay, of your okay. classmates. Mm -hmm. Silvia de Ayala. Okay, Silvia, can you give me one verb? It's Silva. Silva. Silva, sorry. Yes. Silva. Silva, es cierto, es cierto. Okay, Laura, okay, give okay. me a verb. Uh, dance. Dance. What is the affirmative sentence here? What do you think? They are. They. They are dancing. They are dancing. Mm, okay, but they, they are no. dancing. They is present continuous. It's simple present. Remember, subject, verb, complement. ¿Cuál es el subject? They. They. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Dancing. Mm, dancing or dance? No. They. they... Dance. Only dance. dance. Okay. They dance. What is the they complement? They dance. Complement. They My dance. house uh, in this context. Okay. Yeah, we can say that. Look, okay. en lugar de the decir people they, dance. podemos decir oh, the okay. people. No problem. People. The people, they dance. The Remember, people dance. Guys, in this scenario, there is, y eso lo vamos a ver un poquito más adelante, el dancing. Okay. ¿Qué pasa si yo le agrego ing? Ahí ya no digo bailar o ellos bailan. Y aquí ya no es simple present. A esto ya le llamamos present continuous. ¿Ok? Y este es un tiempo gramatical okay. diferente. Ese todavía no lo hemos visto. Lo vamos a ver más adelante. Pero recuerden, si yo ya le agrego el ing, aquí ya es diferente. ¿Ok? Así que okay. ahorita okay. no le agreguemos a ING. Ahorita solo vamos a decir dance. Ok. The, okay. Uh, the people dance. ¿A dónde? At the? At the club. At club. the club. Exactly. Club. At the club. Ok. Uh, can you tell me the sentence in negative, please? The, the people doesn't. Mm, doesn't. No, no, the people. Okay. 
Can I say the people doesn't or the people don't? Don't. No, the people don't dance at the club. That is the one. ¿Por qué decimos don't y no doesn't? What do you think? Is um. Plural. It's plural. plural. If I say people, okay. I'm not talking about only one. Is plural. Plural. So it is not third person. Okay. The people don't dance at the club. The what will be? What will be the just no question? Well, why the people? Mm, la just no question no, wait, no, necesita, where? no necesita la double H word. Solo iniciemos. Auxiliary, mm. subject, verb, complement. Okay. Um, it's mm -mm. Our auxiliary. Our... Auxiliary. Those. Do, do or does? Do. Okay, do. Does, Luego, mm -mm. Do, 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 do. Do. Luego necesito el sujeto. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? Do, do people. Do people, people dance at, at the club? That is club? the one. Do people do dance people. at the club? All right. If the answer is yes, Laura, do people dance at the club? Yes, I do. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes, yes, uh, they. yes. Yes, they do. They do. Decimos they porque estamos hablando de ellos, right? De la people. They. You're right. If the answer is no. No. Doesn't. Mm -mm. They, they. They don't. That is the one. No, they don't. They doesn't. Mm. Don't. don't. Remember, they don't. Laura, seamos cuidadosos con los auxiliaries. Remember que doesn't va a ser solo y únicamente para la third person. ¿Ok? Third person. Third okay. person, he, she, or it, y si es in singular. Ya si es plural, ya no usamos doesn't. Solo usamos don't. Ok. Ok. Laura, Thank you. pick one of your classmates, please. Ok. One moment. Please. Um... Ruth okay. Esmeralda. <laughs> okay, Ruth, give me a verb. A sleep. Sleep. Okay, where is it? Oh, okay, here it is. Okay, what will be the sentence in affirmative? Affirmative. Yes. The, the child sleep in the bed. Mm, the child is only one. Ch child the children mm -hmm. sleep in the bed. All right, very good. So we can say children or kids is just the same. What is the negative? The kids, the kids don't sleep in the bed. Very good. And the question for him? Do kids sleep in the bed? Do kids sleep in the bed? Very good. Nice job. So, easy or difficult, guys? What do you think? Easy. Easy? Okay. Now, everybody, give me a verb. Which one? Which one? Right. Right. Okay, what will be the sentence in <coughs> affirmative? Everyone? The, write in the, the notebook. The girl write in the notebook. Mm, the girl write? Right. <laughs> ah, everybody, don't forget the third person. And remember, exaggerate. We have to say right. Okay? In negative, what will be the sentence? The girl doesn't write in her book. Correct. 
Doesn't write. And the question form? Okay. Now imagine if I ask you guys, does the girl writing her book? If the answer is yes? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. If the answer is no? No, no she doesn't. No, she doesn't. And basically, guys, that is the structure of the whole <coughs> present. Easy or difficult? What do you think? For me, difficult. Difficult? Difficult. <laughs> okay it, it is <laughs> actually but i need practice that's it we need yes. to practice yeah. guys and remember the structure i mean basically yo sé que cuesta estar memorizando las reglas de grammar i know y nos pasa a todos so uh, google <laughs> google mm -hmm. is your best friend um i mean listen suena broma pero guys eh, tienen esa ventaja. Yo creo que ahorita todos tenemos acceso a internet. Right? So, tenemos esa gran ventaja. Ustedes solo vayan a Google y coloquen ahí lo que quieran practicar. Y les van a salir una serie increíble de websites donde ustedes pueden practicar. Entonces, si a ustedes les cuesta, por ejemplo, you say, no, teacher, a mí el simple present. For me, it's difficult. Okay, váyanse al buscador de Google y escriban eh, practice, <coughs> simplemente practice, simple, present. Y le pueden colocar que son basic y le ponen basic level. Para que también los ejercicios que les aparezcan sean un poquito fáciles, right? Que no les vaya a salir algo tan complicado. Y aquí tienen el montón de websites. Y ustedes solo elijan uno. Ah, voy a probar con este, ok. Y miren, aquí está este website. Y ahí dice, ok, present, present simple, present simple in affirmative, present simple, eh, vamos a ver si tiene, look, present simple interperson. Si le scroll down, tenemos simple present. Bastantes ejercicios de simple present in affirmative. Vamos a ver, look, aquí abajo dice negative, ok, y aquí tienen, look, muchos ejercicios con negative, con don or does and, look, si le dan hasta abajo, miren, hasta aparece question, le dan clic en question form, y aquí tienen varios ejercicios con las questions forms, si va a ser do or doesn't, hasta pueden practicar las short answers, este website está super good, look at this. Ahora, look, dice combine. Miren, hay ejercicios combine, affirmative, negative, and questions. Le vamos a dar clic ahí. Look. So, hay muchos websites que ustedes pueden utilizar. Do you have a cold or does you have a cold? What is the correct answer? Two. 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 Y si al Two. final queremos revisar si nuestras respuestas están correctas, le damos check. check. Ok, aquí dice que... Yes, it's correct. Okay. okay. So, what I'm trying to say is, ahorita sí, yo sé, no les han habilitado la plataform, but, again, podemos practicar on Google. Solo coloquen ahí qué es lo que quieren practicar. Hay muchos websites a su disposición, así que everyone do it. El tiempo aquí en la clase, lastimosamente, es muy corto. Siempre lo digo. Así que aprovechemos. Aquí se les da el extracto, así como lo más basic. Pero el resto es ustedes. Ustedes tienen que dar la extra mile para poder aprender más. ¿Ok? Así que en sus ratos okay. libres, traten de buscar ejercicios en Google. Y como les digo, ahí ustedes especifiquen. ¿Quieren usar listening, grammar, reading, writing? En Google hay de todo, guys. Así que, please... Practice, practice, practice. Okay, we have a, another topic, frequency adverbs. Do you remember the frequency adverbs? Yes. Yeah. Can you give me examples? Usually, seldom, normally, hardly ever. 
Cool. Always. Exactly. Always. Never. Very Never. Good. As usual. So look, we have oh, different, I mean, we have a lot of, right? Now, one of the most common frequency adverbs are the followings. Always, usually, often, often. sometimes, oh. never. never. Those are some of the most common, okay? What is the position of the adjectives? Well, in this case, the frequency adverb, what is the position in the sentence? At the beginning, at the end, in the middle, what is the position? After the subject, but After before the, the verb. Correct. So look, basically, it's in the middle between the subject and the verb. For example, I always do my homework. Can I can I say something like, always I do my homework? Can I say that? No. No. Can I put it at the end? I do my homework no. always. No. 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 Now, what happens if I have the verb to be? Imagine that instead of saying I do my homework, I want to say that I am happy all the time. ¿A dónde voy a colocar el always? I always am happy or I am always happy. I am, I, am, I, am, I am always happy. Ah, look at this one. So the frequency adverb is before the verb, except if the verb is the verb to be. To be. Remember, exactly. the verb to be is more important, is like more powerful. So if you have the verb to be, the frequency adverb goes after. Understood? Yes? Now, yes. imagine if I ask you guys, how often do you take a shower? Which of this frequency will you use? I always, always take always. a shower. <laughs> okay. I always take a shower. Take a now, shower. If I ask you guys, how often do you go to the cinema? I never. never. <laughs> I never, never go, go to, to the cinema. cinema. Okay. I hardly ever. Fine. Okay, or I hardly no. ever no. go to the cinema. How often do you watch horror movies? Never. I never watch. Okay. I never watch oh, movies. <laughs> you don't like horror movies? I, I like. don't like. No, I prefer <laughs> the same like. fact. Mm, okay, okay. So, you can say, I never watch horror movies. Okay? Now, I have some sentences here. Let's complete the sentences. For example... If it is 75%, which one do I need to use? 75. Often. 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 And look, Often. what is the activity? Play tennis. Play tennis. So we are going to say, I often play tennis. How about the next one? If it is 0%, why Never. Does Never. I never. And what would be the I sentence? I never, I never listen to never music. music. I never listen to music. Music. Yes. If it is a hundred percent of the time, always. Always. I always. Okay. Always. I always. I always. I always. I always. Take a shower. Always. Uh -uh. In, in, the pool. Pool. in the pool, in the pool, oh, for in the pool. example, in the pool. I always swim in the pool. Now, the pool. imagine that instead of I, I want to say he. What do you think? Do I need to add the letter S in the verb swim? Yes or no? Yes. 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 
So vamos a decir, he always swims. Swim. Swim. Okay, if it is 9% of the time, what is the correct adverb that I can use? Usually. Okay, and what would be the question? Oh, I'm sorry, what would be the sentence here? I usually, I usually, I usually eat, eat snacks, snacks, popcorn. popcorn. Okay, we can say different sentences. Listen, everyone. We can say, ah, I usually eat snacks or I usually eat popcorn with soda or I usually go to the cinemas. It depends, right? But the correct frequency advert is... Usually. 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 If it is 50% of the time? Sometimes. Sometime. Ah, I, I sometimes eat some French fries. Important. What is the pronunciation of this one? Sometimes. Sometimes. Ah, listen. Do I have a letter S in the end? Yes or no? Yes. 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 So the pronunciation yes. is sometimes. 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 So sometimes. be careful, guys, because with that specific frequency adverb is that we have a lot of problems because most of the time people say sometime or sometime. Mm -mm. Sometimes. sometimes. Okay, so please let's exaggerate the letter S in the end. Sometimes. Understood? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes. That's the one. Sometimes. Okay, now when we are talking about the frequency adverbs, we know different ones. I mean, we have a lot of options with the frequency adverbs. For example, Always is the most common one. Usually, normally, often. These are some of the most common. And as we say, they are between the subject and the verb. That is the position. Clear so far? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But now we have yes. another expressions that we can use. For example, look, what happens if I want to say una vez al día? How can I say that? Once a day. Once a day. Once. Correct. A day. Once, Once a day. Okay. Y si yo quiero decir una vez a la semana? Once a week. A week. Once a week. A week. A week. Mm. Y una vez al año? Once, Once a year. Once a year. Once a year. One year. A year. A year. So imagine if I ask you, okay, guys, how often do you celebrate Christmas? Once a year. Once a year. Once a year. Yeah. How often do you, um, let's see, how often do you drink soda? Okay. <laughs> once a week. <laughs> okay, some people say once a week, some people say every day, right? Always. <laughs> Guys. Don't drink so much soda. That's not healthy, okay? In my case, it's twice a week. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Imagine instead of once, we can say twice. What is the <coughs> meaning of twice? Dos. Dos veces. Exactly. For example, imagine if I say, how often do you drink coffee? Ah, Twice, twice a day, a day hey. for example, or yeah. twice a week. So important, <clears throat> uh, guys, microphones, please, microphones, keep it off. So once is only one, okay? Twice means two, simple. So no podemos decir um imagine if i say okay guys how often do you go to the beach ah one a month 
Can I say that? One a month? No. No, one. it doesn't no. exist. You have to say once. 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 What happens after three? ¿Qué pasa si yo quiero decir tres veces? Ahí three ya va times. a cambiar. Ahora sí le agregamos la palabra time. Three times. Three times. Three. Y si son three. cuatro veces? Times. Four, times. Four, times. Four times. Four times. Cinco veces? Times. Five times. Five, times. Five, times. Five times. And so on, and so on. Important. If you are using once or twice, you don't need to say the word times. Es decir, si ustedes me dicen once times, mm -mm, it's not correct. Si ustedes me dicen twice times, mm -mm, it's not correct. Con once y con twice, no usamos la palabra times never understood yes yes, yes. usamos okay. la palabra times a partir del número three three, three, times. three times four times. Times. times for example how often do you eat three times, three times. Very good. three times a day, a day. how a day. often how often do you have English class? Once a day. Once, Once a day. A day. Once, Once a day or? Five times a day. Five times a day. A day or a week? A week. A week. Ah, a week. Very good. So, important. We always use a. We don't say a. Ah, Three times in a day. Mm -mm. Ah, four times in a week. Uh -uh. We always use ah. How often do you have English class? Five times a week. 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 Important too. These phrases, they are always at the end. Okay? Si vamos a usar estas frases, las mandamos al final de la oración. No van at the beginning, no van en medio, van al final, at the end. For example, I have English class four times a day or a week. I drink coffee twice a day. These phrases, guys, always at the end of the sentence. Got it? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, another one that we can use is the word every. Okay? If I say every day, what is that? What is the meaning of every day? But if I say every two days, Every three weeks. Cada tres meses. Cada tres veces a la semana. Mm -mm. Cada tres. Cada tres semanas. 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 Every four months. Cada cuatro, cada cuatro meses. So, this word every, we can combine it. Every two days, cada dos días. Every two weeks, cada dos semanas, for example. Si yo quiero decir cada, cada dos años, how can I say that? Every two years. Every two years. For example, yes. imagine if some people ask, how often do you travel to another country? Ah, I travel to another country every two years, for yeah. example. Okay. Eh, cuando ustedes tienen un trabajo y les van a decir, mire, le vamos a pagar cada mes, right? So, vamos a decir every month. month. Y si le dicen, le vamos a pagar cada tres meses. <ríe> every, 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 three months. Months. every three months. months. Ok, so, podemos usar la palabra every. Understood? Yes. yes. 
If you yes. see, guys, these phrases also indicates frequency. Okay? Imagine if I ask you guys, how often do you go to the doctor? Uh huh. Ah, teacher. Once, once a week. Every. Once a month. Okay, you can say once a month. Every one. Or every two every. months. Uh -huh. Six. Every three months. Every, every three months or every six months. Now, how often do you go to the supermarket? Every, 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 every week or every two weeks. So we can use these phrases to indicate frequency. Okay? Got it? Teacher, yes? Teacher, I have a yes. question. Okay, tell me, what is your question? Oh, in the case, the number one, uh, I listen about every single day, more or less. I, we can I use think. it. Actually, yes. Remember, guys, that if we want to say like todos los días, we can say every day, but also we can say every single day. And that means specifically cada día. Podemos usar okay. every day, pero si decimos every single day es porque queremos ser bien específicos, que es cada uno de los días. Right? Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. For example, guys, how often do you take a shower? Y ustedes quieren especificar, teacher, every single day. <laughs> right? That is very specific. Understood? Yes? Yes. 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 Yeah. ¿A dónde voy a colocar esas frases? Final. 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 At the end. Okay? At the, the end, end of the, the sentence. End. At the okay. end of the sentence. Now, there are another phrases, guys, that we can use. For example, daily. What is the meaning of daily? Diariamente. Exactly. Can, can you tell me an activity that you do daily? Brush my teeth. Okay. Exercise. Exercise. So you can say... I exercise daily. daily. I brush my teeth daily. 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 So that means every day. Now, what is I weekly? drink coffee daily. Ah, okay, yes. How about weekly? What is that? Cada semana. Semanal. Semanalmente. So, Cuando nosotros le estamos agregando el I, es como agregarle la palabra mente. Diaria, mente. mente. Semanal, mente. 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 Mensual. Mensualmente. Exactly. Ok, tell me an activity that you do weekly. What do you think? Supermarket, weekly. Exactly. Supermarket. Very good. Ahora bien, si yo quiero decir, ah, hay que pagar mensualmente. So we have to say, I pay monthly. Okay. Okay. Weekly. Or weekly. Now, what happens if I want to say anualmente? Family. We say annually. Exactly. Annually. So, esos son otros time periods that we can use to express frequency. Ahora bien, si usamos la palabra every, we can combine every day, every week, every month. ¿Cómo diría cada año? Every, every year. year. Every year. Exactly. Y si quiero decir cada fin de semana. Every, every, week, week, every weekend. Every weekend. And if I want to say cada lunes? Every Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday. Every Monday. Mm. Look, so we can combine these phrases. So now, guys, when we answer the questions, how often there are different options that we can use? 
ya se fijaron, tenemos muchas frequency adverbs that we can use. No simplemente always, sometimes, never, no. We can use once, twice, three times, every, daily, weekly. We have a lot of options that we can use to answer the questions how often. Is that clear? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Yes. yes. Easy yes. or difficult? Um, 50 memorize. I know. <laughs> Absolutely. You have to memorize it. Okay. Now, did you copy the phrases? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Now, let's have a practice. Uh, let me open up the exercise. Give me a second. Uh, let's see, let's see. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, yes. we have questions with how often do you? I want you to answer these questions using the frequency adverbs that are the common ones, or you can use the phrases that we just learned. I have different cards. You have to pick one number and answer the question. So for this activity, guys, I will need volunteers, okay? So who wants to try first? Volunteer? Nine. Okay, Laura, which one? Nine. Nine, okay. Laura, how often do you play with your sister or brother? I play um rat, rat. really 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 mm, really or rattly I play rattly okay I rattly I rattly play with play with with my sister, with my sister. All right. Or my good. brother. Exactly. Pretty good. Okay. Another volunteer, okay. please. Who wants to try? Me, teacher. Who say me? Car, car number one. Okay. Number one. How often do you go to a party? Uh, <laughs> I never go to a party are you sure yes yes <laughs> <laughs> okay okay who else volunteer your son teacher 14 okay. 14 ah how often do you speak english i speak english every day ah that's great excellent uh-huh who else me t-shirt 10 number 10 okay. how often do you cry wow <laughs> i never cry <laughs> ah, are you sure okay listen let's try to use the phrases even if it is not true so if i want to say that i cry I, ah, una vez al año, how can i say that Um, I cry every once a year. Once at the time. Once a year, <laughs> once at a time. But in this case, if it is a specific, a year, once a year. Now there is yeah. there is another phrase that we can use. It is from time to time. <laughs> este from time to time es como decir allá el tiempo, right? O allá cuando me acuerdo. So from time to time es una acción que no hacemos frequently. Es como cuando decimos ah una vez al año, right? So that is the meaning from time to time. How often do you cry? Ah, from time to time. Or I cry from time to time. That means no so often. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, so 
Marlene, complete the sentence again. Deme una oración, pero no me use never. Trate de usar otra. Um... <laughs> and uh, I, 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 um, hi, sorry, teacher. Try, try. Um, I, I, I cry. Uh, uh, day, day, daily. Okay, I cry daily. That's good. Very good. Volunteer, who wants to try? Remember, give me the name. No me digan solo me, because no voy a saber quién es. So give me, me the name. Seven. Thank Irving. you. Irving, okay. How often do you go to the movie? Uh-huh. Irving? The microphone is off. Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> teacher. I go to the movies every month. Every month. Pretty good. Excellent. Who's next? Me, teacher. Me, Ruth. Uh, okay, but who say first? <laughs> ¿Quién dijo primero? Okay, Ruth, give me a number. 17. Okay. How often do you wash the dishes? I I always wash the dishes. Every single day? Every day. Every <laughs> single day. <laughs> okay. And how many times, guys? Once a day or twice a day? Three times a day. Three times a day. All right. Pretty good. Uh-huh. Who else? Me. Yes? Eleven. Eleven. Okay. How often do you get up at 5 a.m.? <laughs> I... I get up at 5 a.m. Uh, annually. <laughs> <laughs> annually, I like that. Okay, pretty good. Okay, the last one, please, volunteer. Me. me. Uh, who say me? <laughs> give me the names. Gerardo. Gerardo, give me a number. Number five. Okay. How often do you read a book? Um, I usually read a book, um, time, time to time. From time to time. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Remember guys, be careful with the combination. In this case, if we use usually, we don't need to combine it with another adverb, like from time to time or use usually or from time to time. Okay. Uh, I heard Ponce, I think you wanted to participate. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Give me a number. Uh, number three. Okay. Ah, how often do you clean the house? I every day clean the house. Mm, okay. I clean the house. Every day. That is the one. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And how many times? Only once or twice a day? Once. Once, once a, a day? day? Excellent. Very good. So, guys, just remember the position. Don't forget it. Okay? If you are going to use the phrases like once, eh, every, or annually, weekly, those ones go at the end of the sentence. If we are going to use the typical frequency adverb like always, usually, never, they go after the subject, that means between the subject and the verb. 
that is the position. Understood? Yes? Yes. Do you have questions so far? Or ready for the exam? No, no, no. <laughs> yes. Ah, you had to say yes. No. Come on. Okay, now. Oh my gosh, it's late. Now listen, when we ask the questions, how often do you, we can change these questions. What happens if instead of saying you, I'm asking about she? So what will be the question? Can I say how often do she? No, no. How, how often does, often does she? Ah, how often does she very does. good. So uh -huh. be careful with the structure, okay? So do is the auxiliary for I, you, we, or they. For example, how often do you have cereal for breakfast? What will be the answer? How often do you have cereal for breakfast? Uh, twice a day. Uh, a week. Okay. Once a day. Okay. But give me the full sentence. I have cereal for breakfast have... once a week, for example. Ah, I have cereal for breakfast daily. Okay. Now, what happens I... if it is in third person? In third person, I will use does. Does is when I'm talking about he, she, or it. So, for example, how often does she have break have cereal for breakfast? What will be the answer? She has cereal for breakfast uh, once a month. Perfect. If you paid attention in the answer, she says she has. We don't say have anymore because it's third person. Okay, she has cereal for breakfast once a month, three times a month, twice a week. So don't once forget. Mm -hmm. If you One are time. using... Okay, go ahead. Uh, why in the question uh, use have? In nor has. Ah, that's a good one. Okay, guys. In this case, if I'm talking in third person, but microphones, please. I'm using, I'm listening to some background. Okay. In the questions with third person, I'm using have. I'm not using has. Why? Why do you think? Do you know that? For the auxiliary. Aha, uh -huh, that's great. Listen, if I have the auxiliary, si ya tengo el auxiliary, ¿qué le pasa al verbo? Not change. Exactly. The verb is in the basic form. No changes. Change. In the answer, for example, ya cuando yo respondo, digo, she has cereal for breakfast, ta -da 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 -da. En este caso, ¿por qué digo has y no have? ¿Tengo el auxiliary en esta oración? She has cereal. No hay auxiliary. Exactly. I don't have auxiliary. Entonces, como yo no tengo el auxiliary, ¿qué tengo que hacer? Ahí ni modo. El verbo sí tiene que llevar cambios. ¿Qué pasa si está en negative? She doesn't, what do you think? Can I say she doesn't have or she doesn't has? Um, she doesn't have. She doesn't have. Because. She doesn't have. ¿Por qué? Because the auxiliary. I have the auxiliary. Exactly. So everybody, be careful, especially with the third person. I think that the third person are the most complicated. Okay? But... On Monday, we are going to continue practicing questions in third person. 
Like how often does and in first person, how often do? Because unfortunately, right now we don't have more time. Now, before leaving, guys, um, let me explain the homework. Remember that today is the first week basically and we are going to have the first homework this homework is evaluated okay so the homework is pretty easy look i'm going to send the link on whatsapp's group you just have to open the link complete the yeah. exercise as always you need to check your answers this is the homework look this is a link it's about simple present guys Y no tienen que escribir nada. Basically, you just have to choose the correct one. If I say Oliver, Oliver Wright or Oliver Wright, what do you think? Oliver Wright. Okay, si ustedes Rides. think it's right, click in that one. Then the sentence is in negative. He don't or he doesn't? He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay. He doesn't write or he doesn't write? Right. Right. Ok, so básicamente solo tienen que ir seleccionando la respuesta correcta. When you finish the exercise, click in finish, check your answers, and you will see the score. So, tienen que tomar un screenshot donde se vea su nota, y ese screenshot you have to send it on WhatsApp's group. <coughs> Lo mandan al grupo de WhatsApp, pero listen guys, tienen que agregar su nombre al mensaje, si no le agregan nombre, yo no los tengo registrados, entonces yo no voy a saber de quién es, así que siempre tienen que agregar nombre, si no le agregan su nombre completo, aunque envíen la tarea, pues no van a tener nota, porque yo no voy a saber de quién es ese screenshot, ¿entendido? Yes. Sí. Yeah. Ok, yes. ¿Hasta cuándo tienen? Sunday. Sunday at midnight. What is that? Sunday at midnight. Yes. A noche del sábado. Tienen todo el weekend, guys, para domingo. hacerlos. Así que si me lo... El, el domingo. Yo lo recibo, domingo. pero con puntos menos. ¿Ok? Si lo envían yeah, okay. el domingo a la una de la mañana, ya va con un punto menos. <risa> ¿Ok? Así que traten de enviarlo a tiempo. ¿Se entiende la homework? Yes. 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 Perfect. Yes, sure. Okay, everybody, that's all for today. Thank you so much for being in the class. See you until Monday. Have a nice weekend, guys. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.